Lionel Messi, Lifestyle and Net Worth Lionel Andres Leo Messi, born June 24, 1987, is an Argentine professional footballer who plays as a forward for and captains both major league soccer club Inter Miami and the Argentina national team. Widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, Messi has won a record eight Ballon d'Or awards, a record six European Golden Shoes, and was named the world's best player for a record eight times by FIFA. Lionel Messi is married to Antonella Racuso. The couple has been together since they were teenagers and got married in June 2017. They have three children together, Tiago, Matteo, and Ciro. Antonella is a model and businesswoman, and she often shares glimpses of their family life on social media. He is the most decorated player in the history of professional football with 44 team trophies, including 12 league titles, for UEFA Champions Leagues, two Copa Americas, and one FIFA World Cup. Throughout his professional career, Messi set the records for most goals for a single club, 672, with Barcelona, most goals, 474, hat-tricks, 36, and assists, 192, in La Liga, most matches played, 39, assists, 18, and goal contributions, 34, in the Copa America, most matches played, 26, and goal contributions, 21, in the World Cup, most international goals, 109, and international appearances, 187, by a South American male, and the second most in the latter two categories outright. A prolific goal scorer and creative playmaker, Messi has scored over 800 senior career goals for club and country. Lionel Messi's net worth in 2024 is estimated to be around over $600 million. This incredible fortune comes from a variety of revenue streams, with the bulk of his income generated through his football contracts, particularly his current deal with Inter Miami in Major League Soccer, MLS. Messi's salary at Inter Miami is reported to be around $54 million annually, which includes his base wage, bonuses, and other incentives. Additionally, he benefits from an exclusive revenue-sharing deal tied to Apple's streaming of MLS, further boosting his earnings. He stands at a height of 5 feet 7 inches tall which is equivalent to 170 centimeters tall. That being said let's roll. Lionel Messi Early Life and Beginnings Messi was born into a football-loving family. His father, Jorge Messi, was a steel factory manager, while his mother, Celia Cuxatini, worked in a magnet manufacturing workshop. Messi's passion for football was evident from a young age, often playing with his older brothers and cousins, both of whom became professional footballers. At the age of four, Messi joined local club Grandoli, where his father coached him. Tragically, Messi's maternal grandmother, Celia, who was his early inspiration and supporter, passed away shortly before his 11th birthday. To this day, Messi dedicates his goals to her, looking up and pointing to the sky after scoring. Lionel Messi challenges and moved to Barcelona. At age 10, Messi was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency, which threatened his future as a professional footballer. The treatment was expensive, and although Newell's old boys, his club at the time, initially agreed to support the costs, they eventually reneged on their promise. Messi's family sought opportunities elsewhere, leading to a trial with FC Barcelona in 2000. Barcelona's first team director, Charlie Rexach, immediately recognized Messi's potential and offered him a contract written on a napkin. In February 2001, the Messi family relocated to Barcelona, where Messi joined La Mesa, the club's renowned youth academy. Despite initial struggles with homesickness and integration, Messi quickly established himself as a prodigious talent. Lionel Messi rise to stardom at Barcelona. Messi made his first team debut for Barcelona at the age of 16 in a friendly match against Porto in November 2003. His competitive debut followed in 2004, and he scored his first goal for the club in May 2005. Under coach Frank Ridgecard, Messi's talent flourished, and he became an integral part of the team. During the 2005-2006 season, Messi played a key role in helping Barcelona win La Liga and the UEFA Champions League, although an injury prevented him from participating in the latter's final. 
Messi's first hat-trick in El Clasico against Real Madrid in March 2007 solidified his status as one of football's rising stars. The arrival of Pep Guardiola as Barcelona's manager in 2008 marked the beginning of an era of unprecedented success for both Messi and the club. Messi was given the iconic number 10 shirt and became the focal point of Guardiola's possession-based system. His goal-scoring rate soared, and he finished the 2008-2009 season with 38 goals, leading Barcelona to their first treble in history. In the 2009-10 season, Messi won his first Ballon d'Or and helped Barcelona win six trophies, including La Liga, the Champions League, and the FIFA Club World Cup. He finished the season with 47 goals, equaling Ronaldo's club record from the 1996-97 campaign. The 2010-11 season saw Messi continue to dominate, winning another Ballon d'Or, leading Barcelona to another Champions League title, and becoming the club's all-time single-season top scorer with 53 goals. The following season, Messi broke multiple records, including Gerd Müller's record for most goals in a calendar year, scoring 91 goals in 2012. The term Messi Dependencia emerged during the 2012-13 season, reflecting Barcelona's heavy reliance on Messi's brilliance. Despite a series of injuries, Messi continued to deliver outstanding performances, breaking records and securing his fourth consecutive Ballon d'Or. However, Barcelona's over-reliance on Messi became apparent as the team struggled in the Champions League, suffering heavy defeats when Messi was not at his best. Despite these challenges, Messi led Barcelona to another La Liga title in 2013, finishing as the league's top scorer with 46 goals. The arrival of Luis Enrique as Barcelona's coach in 2014, along with the signing of Luis Suarez, marked the beginning of a new era. Messi, Suarez, and Neymar formed a formidable attacking trio known as MSN. The trio's chemistry was undeniable, and they quickly became the most feared attacking force in world football. During the 2014-15 season, Messi broke the all-time La Liga scoring record, previously held by Telmo Zara. Barcelona won their second treble in history, with Messi, Suarez, and Neymar combining for a record 122 goals in all competitions. Messi's individual brilliance continued in the following seasons. He won his fifth Ballon d'Or in 2015 and led Barcelona to multiple domestic titles. The 2016-17 season saw Messi win his fourth European Golden Shoe, finishing as La Liga's top scorer with 37 goals. In 2017, Messi signed a new contract with Barcelona, extending his stay at the club until 2021. He continued to lead the team to success, winning La Liga and the Copa del Rey in the 2017-18 season. Messi also claimed his fifth European Golden Shoe, becoming the first player to win it five times. After the departure of Andres Iniesta in 2018, Messi was named Barcelona's captain. He guided the team to another La Liga title in the 2018-19 season, winning his sixth Golden Shoe. Despite these successes, Barcelona's performances in the Champions League began to decline, culminating in a humiliating 8-2 defeat to Bayern Munich in the 2019-20 season. Following this defeat, Messi expressed his desire to leave Barcelona, but ultimately decided to stay for the final year of his contract. The 2020-21 season saw Messi surpass Xavi's record for most appearances for the club, but Barcelona's overall performance remained inconsistent. Lionel Messi Paris Saint-Germain and Inter Miami In August 2021, Messi's departure from Barcelona was confirmed due to the club's financial difficulties. He signed with Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, and quickly adapted to life in Ligue 1, helping the team secure back-to-back -back league titles. In July 2023, Messi made a surprising move to Major League Soccer, joining Inter Miami. He quickly made an impact, leading the team to victory in the League's Cup in August 2023. Lionel Messi International Career with Argentina He made his senior debut in 2005 and became the youngest Argentine to play and score in a FIFA World Cup. As captain of the national team since 2011, Messi led Argentina to three consecutive finals, 
the 2014 FIFA World Cup, the 2015 Copa America, and the 2016 Copa America. After announcing his retirement from international football in 2016, Messi returned to lead Argentina to victory in the 2021 Copa America, his first major international title. He followed this up by leading Argentina to victory in the 2022 FIFA World Cup, scoring seven goals and winning the tournament's golden ball for the second time. Lionel Messi Legacy and Influence Messi's influence extends beyond the football pitch. He has been a global ambassador for the sport and a role model for millions of fans worldwide. His endorsements, particularly with Adidas, have made him one of the highest paid athletes in history. In 2020 and 2023, Messi was named the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year, becoming the first team sport athlete to win the award. Messi's legacy is not just defined by his records and trophies but by the joy and inspiration he has brought to football fans around the world. As of 2024, Messi continues to play at the highest level, showing no signs of slowing down. Lionel Messi's career is a story of talent, perseverance, and unparalleled success. From his early days in Rosario to his legendary status in Barcelona and beyond, Messi has consistently redefined what it means to be a footballing genius. His journey is far from over, and as he continues to create new memories on the pitch, Messi's legacy as one of the greatest players of all time remains firmly intact. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for such interesting content.